skills. So this week we're going to focus on our basketball shooting skills, looking at the acronym B. So the B stands for balance. So if you look in the video, my legs are about shoulder width apart, my legs are bent, I have a nice straight back, I have an imaginary basketball. The E, the first E is for elbow. So my elbow should be at a 90 degree angle. My other arm should, or my other hand should be supporting the imaginary basketball. The second E is for eyes. My eye should be on the target. The target is the hoop. And F stands for follow through. So if you look at my arm, it's a nice big arc and my wrist flicks down. So let's look at that all together again. Next, what we're gonna practice is we're just gonna practice using a ball or whatever object you have at home. I have paper balls and I have a basket. Okay, so I'm gonna show you from behind what these skills look like. So my feet are shoulder width apart, my legs are bent, I have a nice straight back, my arm falls all the way through. Let's look at that from the side. Okay, my nice supporting hand, awesome. Clearly, basketball is not Coach Morgan's specialty sport. Another way we can do this is we can start by sitting down and just focusing on our upper body. So I'm sitting down on my couch, I have my arm up, my elbows bent, and I have my supporting hand there with my imaginary basketball. You can try it sitting down like I am on the couch, really focusing on that flick and follow through. Or you can try sitting down. You can try both or you can try one or the other. It's a really good way to just focus on your upper body and follow and work on that follow through as that's one of the most important components of our shooting skills. Next, what we can try is setting up different spots. I have shoes that I use, and I'm, each shoe represents a different location to shoot from. So my basket's on my table, I have my paper ball, and I'm shooting from different spots, trying to get the ball, or try to get the ball into different, from different angles into the basket. Notice how some are closer, some are further, some are off to the side. What this does is it works on your ability to modify your position as you need to try and get that ball into the basket. Notice how I get my ready position, on my, I'm working on my beef skills. Next what we can practice is starting from a spot. You're going to either shuffle or run to your basket and come back to your spot and then shoot your ball into your basket. I will let you choose if you wanna shuffle or run, either one is fine, but make sure that you're starting at your spot, running or shuffling to your basket, running or shuffling back, and then shooting into your target. Really focus on those beef components. Next, what you can try is putting an obstacle in front of you. I took one of my dining room chairs and have my spot right behind it, and I'm gonna try to shoot over my obstacle. What that does is it really forces me to work on getting up nice and tall so that I can get the ball over my target and into the basket. It can be pretty easy for some of us to try to stay low while we're shooting our basketball, but by putting an obstacle in front of us makes us work harder to get up nice and tall to get over the obstacle. Here we have uh, a modified version of our hot spot or spot shot game. Instead of using spots, I have my masks as different spots representing different locations um, in, my, in my living room. So I choose a spot to start from and I can't collect my mask until I make it into the basket. So I can keep shooting from the same one or I can try a different one, but I cannot collect my mask until I make it into the basket.
And last but not least, just to have some fun with our shooting skills, we can practice some of our trick shots. As you can see here, I'm trying some behind the back skills. <laughs> trying to have some fun with that. And now let's try underneath the leg. You can try both legs. You can try something else, totally up to you. I wanna see whatever creative movements you can come up with to try to shoot your basketball. You could even try eyes closed. That's a risky chance, but hey, we're all about having fun, or even behind the back. <laughs> Great work. Nicely done, everybody.